The Fairy Queen is an allegory. Edmund Spencer's epic poem, The Fairy Queen, is a rich allegory that explores various moral and philosophical ideas through its fantastical characters and events. Here's a breakdown of the allegory, The Fairy Queen, Glory. The Fairy Queen represents the ideal of glory and honor, which is the ultimate goal of the knight's quests. As Spencer writes, the fairy queen, in whose honor I write, is glory, that doth all good deeds excite, book I, prologue. Red Crow's Knight, Holiness Red Crow's Knight embodies the virtue of holiness and the struggle against sin and temptation. Spencer describes him as a gentle knight, whose name was Red Crow's, and in his arms a crow's of red did bear, book I, canto I. Red Crow's journey represents the Christian's journey towards salvation. Una, Truth Una represents truth and purity, guiding Red Crow's on his journey. Spencer writes, Una, fairest of them all, that ever were, in whom the truth of beauty doth appear, book I, canto I. Una's presence symbolizes the guidance of truth in the journey towards holiness. Doesa, Deception. Duesa symbolized deception and falsehood, opposing Una and Red Crows. Spencer describes her as a wicked witch, that many a white had slain, and with her witchcraft many a one had stained thee. Book I, Canto II. Duesa represents the dangers of deception and false appearances. Prince Arthur, Magnificence. Prince Arthur embodies the virtue of magnificence and the ideal of chivalry. Spencer writes, Prince Arthur, that great king of old, whose name doth echo through the world, Book I, Canto Seven. Prince Arthur represents the ideal of chivalry and honor. Sir Gaio, Temperance Sir Gaio represents temperance and the balance between extremes. Spencer describes him as a goodly knight, whose name was Sir Gaio, and in his arms a golden eagle did bear, Book 2, Canto I. Sir Gaio's journey represents the struggle for balance and moderation. Acrasia, Sensuality Acrasia symbolized the temptation of sensuality and the dangers of unchecked desire. Spencer writes, Acrasia, that witch, that with her charms doth entice, Book 2, Canto 12. Acrasia represents the dangers of giving in to sensual desires. The Bower of Bliss, Earthly Pleasure The Bower of Bliss represents the allure of earthly pleasure and the danger of becoming trapped in it. Spencer describes it as a place of pleasure, where the senses are delighted, Book 2, Canto 12. The Bower of Bliss symbolizes the temptation of earthly pleasure and the need for temperance. Through these characters and events, Spencer explores themes such as the struggle between good and evil, the importance of virtue and morality, the nature of truth and deception, the ideal of chivalry and honor, and the dangers of temptation and desire.